Hey guys, welcome back. I have a brand new toy behind me. It's a quiet air compressor. My old piston compressor way too loud to use in the evening hours and the Kitamura CNC needs quite a lot of it. So let's see if it's something good or if it's shit. We'll find it out. So here it is. It's quite a hefty unit. Total it weighs about 120 kilos. Focus, there you are. 720 liters per minute net at four bar. So that's actually quite respectable. It's a quite a nice unit. It's quite tall. I think about a meter. So there's these fancy latches. So what makes this unit so special? It's because it has four of these, well, membrane compressor units. They're quite, uh, quite big ones. Let's check my hand on comparison. No, actually it's three of them. I thought it was four, but three of them. This is supposedly some kind of air dryer system. I'm not sure how that's supposed to work. I think it's actually just like a buffer tank. These are all dual head, it seems like, twin cylinder. I just thought it was four, but I must be mistaken anyway. It's all covered in this foam here. Foam. Except in the front, but also in the back is all foam. Controls are there. Fan is there. Here is a PCB. You can actually see it has connections for motor. Here it says motor four and five. It's actually quite dark here, so I'm quite impressed the camera can get uh, a decent view. I'm actually planning to make this 380, and that's very simple. Here you have each of these outputs. I will basically, in order to not change anything to the system. I will, well, let me see, maybe it actually gets the individual phases, but I just don't want to mess too much about it. We we'll have a wire going to each motor, I'm planning to just add a relay in between and just connect one, like phase one, phase two, phase three, and bring a neutral to all of them. That way, even with a three phase 400 volt system. You have uh, each motor between a phase and a zero will get uh, 230 volts, as it is designed to do. Because this is 230 single phase, and what you'll basically get, um, at least in systems here in the Netherlands and probably many places in the EU, your connection is let's say 3 phase and 25 amps or whatever. This unit by itself, if I'm correctly, can pull 25 amps or 20, 25 amps, something like that on a single phase. Which means if you, for example, have a laid on, like here's mine, or a CNC machine, well, here's my project, Kitamura, then you might get into trouble that uh, you basically, your breaker uh, flips. And the nice thing about three phases is you spread the load in three phases and there is enough power to go around, it's just like you don't want to overload a single one. So let's go check out the other side. So on the other side, another big panel. And the fancy flip the flops. Take it off. There's actually no insulation on the panels itself. But considering these are there to basically allow air to come inside so the motors can stay cool, it shouldn't really be an issue. Here, there's a Chinesium CH. No, CR80, 63 amp breaker that's basically there to ensure you don't, uh, in case of a short, like there's at least something or that you can turn it on or off. Let me see if it's actually on or off. I can't actually see this. Let me see. Um, wait, small letters. On is up. Okay. Anyway, so here's the other side. Looks so. Looks like what you expect, right? Here's the other side of the 
so-called drying tank. I think the idea behind this, if there's any moisture, because these run really cool in comparison to a uh, oil compressor, piston compressor runs really hot. And at a higher temperature, you have a higher percent of humidity, as far as I understand, which means your air gets really wet. So my, as what I guess is, it puts the compressed air into this because the air cools down in here a little bit. Any water should presumably trap inside. There's a drain there, which presumably goes to the back. Yes, here in the back, you have a draining system. Here's your compressed air connection. And yeah, that's about it. I, I also got a giant tank, 200 liters. Theoretically, it shouldn't take uh, long uh, for it to be filled up. Why did I go to Toolmania? Well, simply because... Well, let me turn around so you have something more interesting to see. Simply because on the website they say all kinds of things. It's designed in the Netherlands. It's made for sound blasting, so you can actually sound blast on 230 volts, which is generally quite an issue on 230. Uh, they achieved that by basically using a 4.5 kilowatt unit, which is uh, not little, of course. I um, actually don't have a sand blasting cabinet yet, but I'll get one at some point. I basically got it because I want quiet air. In the evening, uh, in the early mornings, if I want to do something with a piston compressor, I just don't. Even though I have a quite quiet one, you can see the specs, I'll show them here. I believe it's 74 dBm or something like that, which for a piston compressor is quite good. Like, don't get me wrong on that. But it's not as good as this unit, because supposedly this is ultra quiet. Whatever that means, but presumably it should mean that you can have a conversation next to it, you can start it early on, and uh, shouldn't be an issue. Well, so it's all temporarily connected now, and uh, I'm going to plug in the unit and uh, let's see uh, what it will do. Ooh. Very quiet. That's uh, how long it took to get the internal tank for. Yeah, I'm quite happy about this. So here's the circuit board. As you can see it has room for two more motors. These outputs, so motor four and five actually turn on. So you first have motor one and two turn on. They are in parallel. Then motor three turns on. And then after motor four and motor five turns on. So you can actually use the same circuit board. Well, they will use this in bigger, in bigger machines. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to add an extra relay because as you see here, with the wiring here, it just directly connects. So instead of using external relays, if I just add another one, and just move one motor over to motor four, then I actually get my sequence. Just need to then connect each of these to a phase. So phase one, two, three, put all the neutrals together, and then voila, we have a three phase compressor system. So I removed the connector and the relay. As you can see, it came out quite easily. The circuit board is nice and clean now. You see the empty position at motor one and I'm going to place it in position five. So it's quite late now, it's about like 11.15 at night. Uh, I just connected the three phase. I'm just going to uh, connect it phase by phase just to double check if nothing is wrong. And uh, after that I can close it up. The light turns on, so that's a good sign. You can see here 
the other two phases are disconnected. I'm going to start it now, only mo one motor should turn. That uh, works good. Now I will disconnect it and well, now I'll connect the second phase and see how that goes. Second phase is connected, let's see how it goes. One, two, one, two, and now number three. Doesn't start. Why doesn't it start? So I've disconnected it now. Let's see uh, if it uh, turns now. If that's the case, I would think it's this one. I'm assuming that there is a check valve in this. And I'm assuming also that this releases the pressure so the pump can just start quietly. And then when it's up to pressure, it can go here. Otherwise, it will start with so much back pressure that it can't, uh, can't get started. And that would prove, presumably, that this wire at some point perhaps isn't connected in the perfect way. And we'll figure that out soon. So let's try. One. Good to know there's an LED here and also there on all of them. So I can now uh, go see uh, if it gets actuated or not. So let me press the button. It will take a little bit. This one actuates. It actuates now. That's strange. So now I will do a quick sound comparison. I will use my old compressor, the Michelin VCX, and then a well, the compressor I just bought. And as the ultimate benchmark, I will use a let me see what is it AS196 airbrush compressor, which is basically the most silent thing you can get. But of course, the air delivery of it is almost nothing. So let's see. How it will be. A quick editing note with this one. Uh, you can actually hear quite a bit of sound coming from the air entering the compressor tank. I think that's due to something turbulent flow or something like that. Anyway, let's go to the next one. 